So, I don't normally vlog, but when I do, it's usually in Toronto. One of my favorite things to do is take photos uh, in puddles, like not me in puddles, but like taking photos of puddles and the camera gets nice and close and you're able to get some really sick shots. I'm not just here to take photos of cool puddles and wander around the city. I'm actually here to meet up with my buddy Jordan. Uh, him and I traveled across New Zealand together along with Yerlin and Zark. <laughs> We're working on a really cool project that I think you guys are going to really dig. What's going on? Bringing in some, uh, some extra planks for us to use. So these guys don't really know what's happening. All they know is you're carrying planks for That's us to right, use something. <laughs> uh, do, you want, do you want my help? Yeah, because you grab the door. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really great. <laughs> okay, so to give you guys a little bit more context of what's happening, what Jordan and I are doing, is we're working on a photo project. And today is sort of experimenting with the photos that we took within New Zealand uh, to create something really cool. That Jordan has a whole bunch of different ideas and experiments that we're gonna do. And as you can tell, it's getting real. He's putting on the rubber gloves. <laughs> the video should have just started with you putting your gloves on without <laughs> having any context of what's happening. Oh, 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 whoa. We're making pieces mounted on custom boards. Uh, so that requires, uh, you know, selection of the board, sanding. Uh, we then have to secure the image to the board with glue. We have to wait for that to set. There's a lot of waiting in this. Uh, you then have to apply the first coat of resin, make sure there are no uh, abnormalities. You have to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> you have to then use a, a torch on it and really watch out for where those bubbles could be forming. Um, it's it's kind of like a frustrating but also a fun process at the same time. <laughs> you said blow torches. Yeah, we have to go buy more actually. Uh, we keep calling these experiments. We keep talking about like, yeah. oh, we're experimenting with this art. And sort of the realization that we came up with is just the fact that it's like, art should always be experimental because that means you're vulnerable to error and error is what makes something cool. It makes something like artistic. And I think it's like once you remove the experimentation process, it becomes cookie cutter. Dude, look at these. This place has 30, super 35 film projectors, IMAX lenses. Look at this. This is $50. Oh my God, can you imagine putting the IMAX lens onto that camera? I wonder what would happen. Can we try what does this look like? Does it do anything? No. Can't, no? Can't see it. That did not work. We tried putting the IMAX lens onto the... Late night coffees mean either you're having a terrible night or a really productive one. Um, in this case, it's a really productive night. So I'm gonna have to get off the fucking table without this one. Right now, Jordan's trying to cut a sliver, literally like, it's like the thinner than my pinky. Being a perfectionist is borderline being an idiot. And I think we're almost at the stage of being idiots. Yeah. This is the line. Okay, 
Okay, before we get into that moment, is he gonna slice his finger off? Is he gonna cut the wood? Is it gonna happen? I don't know. I actually do know because I'm just editing it right now. Before we get into that, I gotta thank the sponsor of this video, which is PremiumBeat.com. Premium Beat is a royalty-free stock music website for all your creative needs. If you guys are looking for some tunes for your video, wanna soup up that production value, uh, I definitely recommend taking a look at Premium Beat. I've been using them for quite some time now and absolutely love the tunes that uh, they use. It's playing right now. This is the music that's playing. Uh, so definitely take a look at their selection of stock music, uh, their premium tracks, and uh, yeah, let's get back into the video. What's Jordan doing? Is he gonna cut his finger off? What's gonna happen? Suspense! Fancy. Just to give you guys a little bit more context, like Jordan's done this a few times, but by no means are we professional photo backers. Like Jordan's into like software development. I'm into movie making. We both like taking photos. This is the, and the fact that this is working out so tremendously well, I don't know, is a miracle. process is about to happen where we then take the prints which we cut and trim put onto backings and uh, we apply this magical thing that Jordan keeps talking about resin, resin. I'm sure if you look at my eye, you probably see like a long list of bags. Um, it is almost 5 a.m. We have crushed, banged out, done all these wondrous things. I think it's it's pretty close to bedtime. It's been a long time since I've done like an all-nighter art project. How you doing, bro? Oh man, last like last round here. I don't know, Jordan. I think this might be the last time I come over to hang out with you. Yeah, you know, Zach, come on over. We'll do some artwork together, and it'll we'll be done at like at like eight o'clock. It's actually kind of true. It's like that is more accurate. At least we got it done. Man. You got to see this. Yeah. Yeah. We let them sit overnight. Today is the day we came back. I mean, we finished up at like 5 a.m., got home at 6. It's, we woke up like three or four hours later. <laughs> the resin has dried. Oh, I just got shivers. Wow. Oh my God. Oh, this looks so good. God, dude, these are phenomenal. <laughs> Oh, it looks, yes. like a, it looks like a portal into the actual space, not just a photograph. Yeah. Well, I think we successfully crushed an amazing series of photos and pieces of artwork. That's it. Um, yeah, that was a really fun adventure to establish and build and do all those designs. Uh, I'd have to say it's the first time I've ever done anything to that level. Uh, but it's really fun to sort of move forward and progress and do more tangible artwork. Uh, I'd recommend it for any of you guys out there who have sort of explored the creative space with let's say something like filmmaking. I think there's something to be said about doing tangible artwork. Um, whether that's printing off your own photos and framing it yourself, putting on resin, or just adding some glitter to something. 
Um, I think adding a tangibility to your art process is really, really fun, super valuable. And personally, I gained a lot out of that because you know, half of my work, half of our work doing this stuff is, um, it's all on a computer. There's like literally the most tangible thing is clicking on a keyboard. So it's a lot of fun uh, working on this. If you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about this project that we're working on, I'll try and provide some information about it in the description below. But if there isn't anything there, there'll be lots coming pretty soon. Sorry about the fan. We're literally airing this place out because of the, the resin that we put on. Just these fumes everywhere. But uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking this out and there'll be much bigger movie around these pieces coming out in the future. I'll see you guys later.